sure you get to Jonathan. We just commit him into your hands and we ask you that you would just practice. allow him to hear your voice and to follow in your way. Lord, that you would just place your favor that would rest upon him, that your provision would follow as he obeys, that you would just just guide him to hear your voice. Father, let him um, let your anointing flow through him. Yes. That others can see you and be set free and delivered and feel that love and that acceptance that that um, you bring through him. Uh-huh. And Lord, we just thank you for clarifying what he is called to do and what he <coughs> needs to do next. Mm-hmm. That you would just place the people in his path and help him just to know what to do and how to do it. And you would just even wake up people through the night to place Jonathan on their heart to yeah. get in touch with and to help him with whatever uh, their, their part is in his call of his life, Lord. And we just thank you that um, you are with his wife wherever she is in her family, that you would protect them and help them to grow and help them to meet at the right time, the right place. And we thank you that you have um, helped her become all that she needs to be and place godly people in her life as well to be supportive and helpful in finding out who all she needs to be and what all she needs to be doing. So, Lord, we just thank you for that, and we thank you for um, being with Jonathan. And even as he sleeps and wakes up, that he just feels your presence and knows you're right there with him. So, Lord, we just thank you that um, he may be moved out on his own, but we just it's so nice to have a God that is right there with him anytime, no matter what. Thank you for meeting all of his needs and even desires. And even things he, he doesn't even know that he wants or needs. That you would just be his God. Thank you so much just for being who he needs you to be in his life. In Jesus. Thank you, thank you guys.